I know what you're thinking. I've seen this video before. The camera is going to zoom out and show all these crazy stars. True, that is going to happen. But here it is going to be a little different. The objects you see on your screen are never going to leave the screen. They will be on screen the entire time. This will show you exactly how big our universe is. This is Earth, obviously. All of humanity has been created on this amazing planet. No other planet in the universe can support life like Earth. We know it as gigantic because we are mere dots on its surface. This is Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Next to it, the Earth is already looking pretty small. This is because Jupiter is over 11 times bigger than Earth. It is important to note we are talking about diameter here, not volume, because you can fit a lot more than 11 Earths inside Jupiter. But even that does not compare to our Sun. Our Sun is over 109 times bigger than the Earth. The Sun is absolutely perfect for our Earth. Any bigger, any smaller, and we would die. But it is hardly the biggest star. This is serious. It is over 150 times the size of Earth. If you look closely, you can still see the Earth in between Jupiter and the Sun. This giant is Arcturus. It is over 2,700 times the size of Earth. Now at this point, Jupiter is 10 pixels tall on your screen, and the Earth is 1 pixel. If you are on a phone, then it would be almost impossible to even see the Earth right now. This is Aldebaran. It is over 4,800 times the size of Earth, and dwarfs our Sun and even makes Arcturus look small. This star is 153 times brighter than our Sun, and would utterly blind us if it were as close to us as the Sun. Still nothing compared to the next guy. This blue supergiant is Regal, and it is over 8,600 times the size of Earth. This star is 47,000 times as luminous as our Sun. If I did a proportion of brightness from the Sun that you've seen to Regal on this video, it would blow out your screen. Speaking of the Sun, it is that tiny red dot below Aldebaran. This is Antares. I know, it is huge. That is because it is over 92,800 times the size of Earth. You most likely will not even be able to see the sun right now because it is only 4 pixels tall. This is Betelgeuse. He is over 96,800 times the size of Earth. You may think there isn't much of a difference between Antares and Betelgeuse, but we have risen to such massive scale here that it only looks that way because Betelgeuse is actually 32 million miles wider than Antares, and you could barely tell the difference. Next we have MUCV, which is over 137,000 times the size of Earth. The Sun is only 2 pixels tall at this point. Formerly known as the largest star, here we have Canis Majoris, which is over 160,000 times the size of Earth. Yup, that tiny blue dot on its middle left side is Sirius. The Sun is nearly impossible to see at this point. Keep in mind though, all the stars and planets you have seen so far are still on screen. This is NML Cygni. He is over 171,900 times the size of Earth. Once again, this star doesn't look all that much bigger than Canis Majoris. However, here we still have over a 94 million mile difference, amounting to almost 12,000 Earths wider. And now we have UI Scooty, which is over 160,000 times the size of Earth. Remember how big you thought Antares was? Well, this guy is twice as big as him. It is interesting to note that these stars do fluctuate in size, so sometimes they can be bigger or smaller than this. Which leads us to the biggest star we have found, at its biggest radius of course. WOH G64. It is over 281,200 times the size of Earth. With that kind of diameter, you can fit over 22 quadrillion, 192 trillion, 307 billion, 692 million, 307,692 Earths inside of it. This is massive. It is beyond massive. But yet, this is still nothing in comparison to the largest black hole we have seen. Introducing Ton 618 Black Hole which is 15,540,000 times the size of Earth. Yes, that purplish dot towards the bottom left is the gigantic WOH G64 that was so big we could barely describe it. Our universe is so big that we have to use a term known as light years to measure it. A light year is the amount of time it takes light to travel one year. Let's visualize what that would look like. This is a light year. It measures at just over 5.88 trillion miles and is 742,700,000 times the size of Earth. Scientists have tried to estimate the size of the universe, but there's no way to know how big it really is. 
Our galaxy though, which is one of an estimated 100 billion galaxies in the known universe, is an estimated 105,700 light years wide. This is simply mind boggling, and this doesn't even touch the size of some of the bigger galaxies in our universe. Let's jump back to Earth through this black hole. This is where you have lived your whole life, unless you're an astronaut. Yet, even this place was so small that we cannot even see it next to an average sized star in the universe. It probably makes you feel pretty tiny. How great God must be that he created all this. How could you see this and think anything else? This is only a tiny peek into a universe so vast that we may never be able to see all its treasures. This is truly amazing. <laughs>